Right from Fox 13, this is breaking news. He shot and killed horrifically, incomprehensibly, uh, 14 students uh, and killed a teacher. Off the top at four tonight, we begin with breaking news. 14 students and one teacher are dead after a gunman opened fire at an elementary school in Texas. The governor says the 18-year-old gunman is also dead. All of this is happening in Uvalde, which is west of San Antonio. Officials say this is the deadliest shooting at a U.S. grade school since the shocking attack at Sandy Hook Elementary in Newtown, Connecticut, almost a decade ago. Fox 13's Alejandro Guzman is in the newsroom tracking the latest developments. Alejandro, what do we know about the victims so far? Jamie, Hannah, I can tell you that 14 children are dead. Students who were only 7, 8, and 9 years old. They were just two days away from beginning their summer break, and now... They won't get to. A teacher was also killed and an additional 13 children are being treated. Two victims were transferred to San Antonio. A 66-year-old teacher and a 10-year-old girl were both in critical condition. Before we get into those specifics, I want to help you understand where this devastating shooting happened. As you mentioned, it is west of San Antonio, about an hour and a half away. It is a small, tight-knit community that I've been in contact with and is now mourning the loss of children who were dropped off on what was supposed to be a regular Tuesday. It's all hands on deck right now. Counselors are en route to help students who survived in this grieving community who is now fearful of what has unfolded. Right now, police are not releasing many details, but Governor Greg Abbott did identify the shooter as an 18-year-old man who is reportedly a current student at Uvalde High School. The Texas governor says the suspect allegedly shot and killed his grandmother before driving away in a truck. He abandoned the truck nearby Robb Elementary around 11.45 this morning, their local time. That's when he allegedly walked into the school and open fire. While officers are still gathering evidence, there is no motive as to why this happened. We know a responding officer shot and killed the suspect. Two officers were also hit. Now today, the Uvalde Police Chief Arredondo, he made a statement but did not take questions. Take a listen. At this point, the investigation is leading uh, to tell us that the, the suspect uh, did act alone uh, during this hyenas crime. Uh, families are being notified and we are providing services to them uh, as the district uh, uh, should. We do want to keep all our families in their prayers. I hope you do as well. And we also want to respect the privacy of the family. Uh, it is still being worked on. And again, we'll notify the parents and the families as soon as we have some news for them. Right now, reaction from public officials is pouring in. In a statement from the office of Washington, Governor Jay Inslee, a spokesperson, wrote in part, quote, we don't accept this kind of violence as a normal or acceptable, which is why the governor's office continues to pursue common sense policies that help prevent and reduce gun violence in all forms, end quote. Democratic U.S. Senator Patty Murray also releasing a statement reading in part, quote, children gunned down in their classrooms, lives cut short, and families shattered. How many more lives have to be lost and how much more heartbreak must we suffer before our Republican colleagues wake up to what the majority of Americans have known for years. Gun safety laws save lives, end quote. President Joe Biden has been briefed on today's senseless tragedy and is expected to address the nation at 515. We'll bring you that live right here on Fox 13 and on our website, fox13seattle.com. For now in the newsroom, back to you. Hey, shalom, shalom, shalom. Before we even get started, want to start by giving all praises and glory to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah Bashem, Rokar Kadash. I want to give double honors to the elders, apostles, the great millstone who rule well. And third, want to give salutation to all the occupants of the hopeful elect that laboring for this word. And it's true in righteous sincerity throughout the four corners. Shalom, 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 brother Hakka. Uh, and uh, from GMS South Carolina Midlands. And pretty much, man, you know what I'm saying? You know, here it is once again. You know, you have Esau, uh, pretty much the one trick pony playing by the same playbook. And, you know, just going for the record, you know what I'm saying? At one time, I think, you know what I'm saying? It was reporting the news, were reporting uh, what was 14 body counts. They'll say 14 people wounded, one teacher died. Then right behind it, you know what I'm saying? You know, 14 people killed. 14 students killed and one teacher killed or whatnot. Then next thing you know, it's 18 students. So, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, man, you know, we we done seen this movie one too many got doggone times at the end of the doggone day. And, you know, with Esau, with his MK Ultra, right, with his crisis actors, not to say that even when you have Esau with his propaganda machine, uh, not to say that, 
you know what I'm saying? You don't have any uh, casualties or anybody that died. We're not going to say that. We're not going to say it. I'm not going to say that. There ain't no students that didn't, you know what I'm saying, get killed in that situation, in that uh, allegedly uh, school shooting in Texas. But it's always the same goddamn storyline at the end of the day. And what do we hear Esau's pushing? Gun laws, gun laws, gun laws, gun laws at the end of the day, which we already know E's agenda ultimately is, you know what I'm saying, to create chaos, you know what I'm saying, create order out of chaos at the end of the day, you know, to, to put that fear monger amongst the people, you know what I'm saying, you know, at the end of the day, because we know this devil, you know, he has his own god on agenda, man, all right, in which he want to um, grab up all the guns, you know what I'm saying, from you American citizens, man, because America is the leading country with gun owners at the end of the day. So, you know, it, it, it'd be very, very more suitable and easy for Esau to implement that one world order and have less pushback, you know what I'm saying, when you have guns taken away from the citizens, man. It'd be very, very easily to roll on them at the end of the day. Not Like I say, not to say that this situation, uh, this shooting, you know, I'm not saying that nobody got killed, nobody got murdered in this situation or whatnot, but like I say, it's always the same storyline. You know, the shooter, he, I'm surprised the shooter didn't have a, a, a manifesto or whatnot. You know what I'm saying? Manifesto. You know what I'm saying? All of them be writing manifestos all of a sudden. And, you know, uh, you know, shooting their mama, shooting their damn grandma before they go on the rampage. And, and um, you know, just a coincidence, you know, he got shot. He got murdered as well, too, or he killed himself. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, man, always the same doggone storyline at the end of the day, man. But... Like I said, man, we done seen this movie uh, many, many damn times before, man. All right. And, and I'm going on the record once again, just stating that not to say that, you know, what I'm saying the situation, uh, the last shooting, inc shooting incident that took place in um, Texas. Not to say that nobody got murdered or whatnot. You know what I'm saying? But we know Esau with his false flags, you know, what I'm saying with his propaganda machine. We know we know who run the news media, all right, and how they can spin the narrative, all right, you know. But like I said, you know, we seen this movie one too many goddamn times, man. All right, and he saw be getting sloppy with it as well, too. All right, he getting sloppy, sloppy with it. But uh, Second Corinthians two and eleven, and it's red. Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant. Of his devices, man. So we ain't ignorant of Satan devices, man. We know ultimately, man, this devil is just hungry with bringing in this damn one world order, man. All right. You know, here it is Esau. He care about the kids all of a sudden. But yet, you know, you're trying to get everybody to take this goddamn jump shot. And this devil, which is going back to Job, you know what I'm saying, 14 and 5. I'm not speaking so much. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Not, you know, being, you know. Not being too direct, but, you know, we have to codify what we say at times or whatever, because, you know, uh, this damn devil right here, he, he, he'll sit there and he'll turn around and, um, you know what I'm saying, you know, for, for whatever reason, this devil will sit up there and take your god dag on um, page down or whatever, man. So we know we know how um, Esau, Esau work at the end of the day, man. All right. But 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 ultimately, you know what I'm saying, you know, um, yeah, how about you? How about shot, man? You, you about to bring, you about to bring this goddamn devil down, man. All right, <laughs> this devil, man. Your your time is short. Job thirteen and four, but ye are forges of lies. Yeah, there, you know, going back to Psalm fifteen and three, man. This damn devil lie about every goddamn thing, but he care about the kids and he want to take the damn fucking guns. You know what I'm saying? Guns don't kill people. People with guns kill people. Okay, all right. And he saw you the last one to be talking about. Somebody take guns away from somebody, man. All right. You know what I'm saying? You know, we, we know you the, the 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 beast man, the wild man, the, 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 the you know, the man that like to drop bombs and, and drones on, on villages, on on, on, on on nations of people. All right. You shaking the whole earth, man. All right. You know what I'm saying? You know, with your with your weapons, man, with your nuclear capability, not, not your nuclear capability, not yet, but, you know, dropping atomic bombs or whatnot on nations of people, man. All right. You know. You know, so who the hell you is to be sitting up here fighting against guns or whatnot, man? All right, that that's the damn devil for you, man. You know, the spin, the, he he got the spin machine going now. 
All right, this damn devil want, want everybody to take the, the jump shot once again. You know what I'm saying? And we know what's up in that jump shot. You know, you got that Beetlejuice in that jump shot, <laughs> you know? And, and you know, you you lying, what, five years, what, what, five years old um, and under what not to take the jump shot? You know what, what you pushing now? It's talking about it's safe, five years old, man? I tell you, man, you goddamn devils, man, all right? You know, but you Jake gonna wake up yet, man. All right, you simple niggas gonna wake up yet, man, all right? Because you niggas will fall for any damn thing. Any damn thing this damn devil tell you, you know what I'm saying? You, you'll believe. You don't question. You don't check any damn thing out, man. That's why you took the jump shot without no hesitation, man. But going back to Job 13 and 4, but ye are forgers of lies. Ye are all physicians of no value, man. Yeah, man, because Esau, he's anti-life at the end of the goddamn day, man. All right, you know? And and, and see, this, like I said, this devil, he know he, he know what time he is, man. He know what time, he, he, he know much time. The time is ticking, man. All right? And, and right now, the time ain't on his side. <laughs> time ain't on his damn devil side right now. He, he knows that, man. He knows his time is short, man. All right, you see the awakening, you know, through the spirit of Yahweh, Shema Rashad. You know, starting with Elder Apostle, Great Millstone, on down to us and down to every other brother's coming that same spirit of Yahweh, Shema Rashad, man. You know what I'm saying? He, he know his days are numbered, man. All right, he know he's being revealed on every side, man. All right, uh, going into uh, Ephesians 5, and I started verse 15, man, it's good. Seeing then that ye walk circumspectly, man. So so we walking circumspectly, man. All right, we, we understand and we, we watching what's going on around us at the end of the day or whatnot, man. All right, we, we, we measuring the time at the end of the day. You know, we know what agendas Esau trying to get past, man. All right, in order to usher in and bring in what? This one world order, man. This devil know his time is short at the end of the day. All right, so we walking circumspectly when we seeing all these different uh, breaking news and we see any different events that's taking place throughout the world and all of a sudden now it's a it, it's a uh, a god dag on um, trend of all these damn shootings man all right these school shootings or you know the buffalo shooting or what have you you know what i'm saying it was shooting in cali or whatnot you know and um now all of a sudden in every single breath of these damn devils man when they talk about these shootings what, what are they talking about right behind that uh, these gun laws, man. They got to tighten up on the gun laws or whatnot, or uh, taking away the guns and what have you, man. Like we we understand what, what what Esau agenda is at the end of the day. Ephesians five and fifteen. You want to grab up all them damn guns, man. All right. So when he make his damn move, you know what I'm saying. You know he ain't got that much uh traction. You know what I'm saying from you damn people, man. All right. It'd be easily to take over. You know what I'm saying. You know and run on your ass. You know what I'm saying when you ain't got no weapons or whatnot. But we know Esau. Esau. You know we talking about the, the regular nine to five Edomites. Man, when they see sh events and situations like that, they're gonna be buying. They're gonna they're gonna, they're gonna buy the guns out now. All right. They ain't about to. Esau ain't about to turn his damn guns in. Esau know that gun is his blessing, man. All right. You know. Uh, but going back to Ephesians five and fifteen, see then that ye walk circumspectly. Not as fools. Yeah, we ain't walking as fools as you two thirds, man. All right. You know what I'm saying? You, you walking as you you walking. Jake don't know Jake walking in full uh gross darkness at the end of the day. They don't know what the hell going on, man. All right. It says, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? So we we, we understand, you know what I'm saying, that yeah, how about Shema was shot? You know what I'm saying? Says these things had to happen. These these events had to take place. Yeah, how about Shema was shot? Reveal to us, Esau, he the goddamn devil, man. And don't be ignorant of none of his damn devices, man. And we know ultimately, man, this devil trying to um usher in this daggone one world order, man. All right? Ultimately, you want to lead into, you know what I'm saying? You know, having everybody, you know, getting that karagma, man, at the end of the day, man. That, that's what it's all leading to. You know what I'm saying? That's where it's headed at. Taking away your rights, man. All right, you know, that's where that's where it's headed at, man. All right. You see the you start telling about the food shortages, okay? You know, uh gas shortages, you know, gas steady rising up. You know, you got inflation, you got hyperinflation, you know what I'm saying, throughout the world. You know what I'm saying, you know, a global famine, you know, that that's that taking place. You know what I'm saying? Hint hint one world order. <laughs> hint hint. You know, like I said, man, we ain't we ain't ignoring the damn devil's devices, you know, at the end of the day. You know, you got different scrimmages of World War Three with, you know, Ukraine, you know what I'm saying, Russia, you know, America still making noise. You know what I'm saying? You got uh them small hats over there in Israel, you know what I'm saying, you know, uh stirring up, you know what I'm saying, against the Iranians, you know what I'm saying, you know. So, you know, you, you know, rumors of war, you feel me? So, man, you how about your mouth was shot, man? You know what I'm saying? You know, he's 
man, most high, he's moving, man. All right. He's moving those pieces on the chessboard at the end of the day, man. All right. You know, and all of it spell out, you know what I'm saying? This devil, you know what I'm saying? is about to come down with that great wrath, man. All right. You know, um, uh, Ephesians 5 and 17, it says, wherefore be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. So we, we know what the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is, man. All right. You know the most high about to bring in that great judgment, that great wrath. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah gonna make his name known throughout the world. You know what I'm saying? And make it renowned once again, man. All right. Everybody gonna have and, and gonna know and gonna have that fear of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah very shortly, man. By the judgment he's about to bring, man. At the end of the day, when you seeing thousands upon thousands of you damn niggas something with you, something with the house of Israel. Most I bring that judgment through you before he even he gonna before the most I even touch these heathens, man. He gonna fuck Jake ass up, man. All right, because the law such a commandment was given to the nation of Israel, and people gonna be knowing, hey, man, that's the judgment of Yahweh about you, Yahweh shot, man. All right, you know, and and the most high, like I said, you know, Esau is a sword of this devil on the left hand side, pursuing back to Psalms. Let me get it. All right, and and and, and that gonna be the wrath of this damn devil, man, against you know what I'm saying, you damn Jakes, man. All right, you know Esau, he gonna come after his own people. You know what I'm saying? And these heathen nations as well, too. But we ain't concerned about them, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, he gonna come after you doggone Jake's, man. And that gonna be the wrath of Yahweh Bashim Al Rashad on the left-hand side, man. All right? And Jake don't have no idea. Jake's sitting up here talking shit against Yahweh Bashim Al Rashad, against the men of Yahweh Bashim Al Rashad, which great millstones. So those apostles on down to us and every other brothers coming in the same spirit, people mocking the truth. But, hey, man, that just that's just showing you these niggas about to get marked. Y'all about to bring these niggas to goddamn, he about to bring judgment on these freaking niggas, man. And we ain't going to lose no sleep over it neither, man. All right? These niggas, and, and they unfaith, man. They unfaithfulness, man. All right? They're going to die in their unfaithfulness, like the scriptures say. Psalm 17 and 13. Arise, O Lord, y'all about your mouth shot. Disappoint him. Cast him down. Deliver my soul from the wicked. And we know the wicked, which is Esau, the third category of man. All right? Which is thy sword. Yeah, which is the sword of y'all about your mouth shot. On the left-hand side, man. All right, you know? And, and King David said, deliver deliver my soul from these fucking devils. And I brought this out. The men of the Lord, that's what we praying for. Y'all bet you to deliver us from this fucking goddamn devil, man. Why? Because he about to come down with that great, great rap, man. All right? Uh, Revelation 12 and 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil, which is Esau, the devil, all right? The deceiver. All right, the Mr. Deceiver here, okay, is come down unto you, having great wrath. And say, and just say wrath. It says great wrath at that, okay, because he knoweth that he have but a short time. So the devil know he got, he got, he got a short time. He got a short reign, man. So we, we, we're not ignorant, like I say, uh, of, of Satan devices at the end of the doggone day, man. All right, you know, and like I said, we we, we done seen the show before, man, but. The most high, man. He about to turn it up, man. All right? Like never ever before, man. It about to be like a time like no other, man. You know what I'm saying? He about to be unprecedented. The judgment. Yeah, about to be shot about the uh, brain here, man. All right? And we can't wait, man. All right? Because all of this got to take place and all this got to happen before Yeah, about to be shot. Got to destroy this place, America, man. Before, you know what I'm saying? Israel, you know what I'm saying? For the elect. For Yeah, about to be shot. Deliver the elect, man. The elect going to see this place be destroyed. All these things got to happen, man. All right, before the kingdom, at the end of the day, man. All right, and in the men of the Lord, man, what we're gonna be doing? We're gonna be what? Measuring the time, man. Pursuing back to Second Ezra nine and one. He answered me then and said, "Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs past which I have told thee before, then shall thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made, man." So. We know, you know what I'm saying? Hey, man, this is great future judgment like never ever before. You know what I'm saying? Coming to that time, you know what I'm saying, uh, of Jacob's trouble, man. All right? And we're going to end with this right here, man. Jacob's trouble, man. All right? Uh, let me see here. Jeremiah 37, man. The judgment of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, man. All right? And which we we, we right here on, on, on the cuffs of it, man. Jeremiah 37, all right? It says, at last, for that day is great. So that none is like it. It is even a time of Jacob's trouble. All right. You so-called Negro, so-called Latino, so-called Native Americans, man. All right. But he shall be saved out of it. And who is that he that going to be saved out of it? Talking about the elect, man. All right. Yeah, how about you, Mashiach, going to deliver the elect? You know what I'm saying? You know, um, 
you know what I'm saying, uh, from the destruction, man. You know what I'm saying? That that, that nuclear missile, that uh that uh second death at the end of the day or whatnot, man. That's a that's a time, you know, so like I said, man, that's a time, you know what I'm saying, we you know what I'm saying, we coming in or whatnot, man. All right. So the men of the Lord, you know what I'm saying, we we gonna consider, man, right? We we ain't walking in in, in in no goddamn um um darkness or whatnot, man. All right. You know what I'm saying? Our mindset is, is on making sure. You know what I'm saying? We we write with you how about you, how we shot. We ain't want to be part partakers of uh, the two thirds club. We ain't we ain't trying to be in that second. You know what I'm saying? Catch that second death, which is that fire, man. All right. You know we looking to be delivered, man. All right. You know. Uh, let me get First Peter's, and we're in with that. I said we we're gonna end with the other one, but we're in with the scripture here, man. All right. Uh, first uh, First Peter's one, and um, fifteen. Well, I start at verse. Uh, hold on here. Matter of fact, oh, let's read it good too. Oh, let's go. All right, I started First Peter's one and thirteen. First Peter's one and thirteen. It says, "Wherefore, girl, gird up the loins of your mind, be sober, and hope to the end for the grace that is." Yeah, we got to be sober minded, man. All right, you got to be clear minded, man. All right, ain't no doubt on our mind. You know what I'm saying? We totally got to have faith, confidence, and walking in the truth, man. At the end of the day, man, doing what we commanded to do. All right, being on our watch, man. And doing to the end, even until death, for certain brothers that got to be martyrs, man. That's our mindset. That's our mentality, man. All right. You know what I'm saying? For the men of the Lord, you know what I'm saying? You know, um, First Peter's 1 and 13. You know, our mind's going to be occupied in prophecy, man. Okay. All right. Not, not of this freaking world at the end of the day, man. All right. Uh, First Peter's 1 and 13. Wherefore, gird up the loins of your mind. Be sober and hope to the end for the grace that is to be brought unto you at the revelation of Yahweh Shah Mashiach, man. Yeah, looking to be delivered, man. All right. It says, verse 14, as obedient children, not fashioning yourselves according to the form of lust in your ignorance. Yeah, man, because we all, before we came to this knowledge, to this truth, man, you know what I'm saying? You know, we, we was in a Gentile state of mind. You know, we discontinued from our heritage, pursuing back to uh, Jeremiah uh, 17 and 4. You know, a lot of us, you know, came out of the different uh denomination of christianity you know what i'm saying you know we was following the customs of america babylon you know what i'm saying you know we was indulging to the world man at one time before you about your mouth shot stir up our pure remembrance but being reborn again and coming back and repenting and coming back and turning back to you how about your mouth shot like verse 14 said it says as obedient children man being to who you how about your mouth shot only the elect all right, uh, 144,000 to one third, man, gonna be obedient and turn back to Yahweh Bashim al Bashar. And it says, not fashioning yourselves according to the form of lust in your ignorance, uh, but as he which have called you is holy, man, and holy, which is separate, man, separate from the fucking world, man. All right, Yahweh out of we those members of the hopeful elect, Yahweh Bashim al Bashar, you know what I'm saying? He, he chosen us out of the world, man, okay? It says, so be ye holy in all manner of conversation man all right so we're supposed to be holy man all right supposed to be separate supposed to always meditating and prophecy man all right we don't supposed to be partakers of this world our light is supposed to be shining not light i'm supposed to be getting dim our light is supposed to be shining we're supposed to be on fire for this word be on fire for y'all about shot man all right you know and out of rot is out you know we those members man if we endure to the end man all right the, uh, of the hopeful elect and with that, I want to say shalom, shalom to the whole full act, shalom, shalom.